Today I'll show you what a dealer pays for this F-150. Every time he helps, he's got a bid. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is, look at that uh, ingenuity right there. Today I'm going to show you what a dealer pays for this Toyota 4Runner. This Toyota Tacoma. All right, let's check this thing out. It's a 2017 F-150. It's got 73,000 miles on it. It is a platinum. You can see that right there. It looks like it's been lifted. Yep, there we go. And it's got nice wheels, nice tires on it. Yeah, this thing is, is pretty nice. You see a little oxidation starting to happen right there. Typically, that's the first place you'll see it, but I didn't see any on the frame. Let's look at the frame. Frame actually looks very, very, very good. So I think... I don't think rust is going to be an issue on this. You see it comes from Fort Mill, not a place where we're going to see a lot of rust. Um, so wouldn't be concerned about that. All right, big boy's coming in right now. I'm trying to start off at $30,000. No bidders yet, no bidders. Drop down 29. All right, drop down 27,000. I think you got bidders, 27,000. Let's go roll out, we're still bidding on it. Let's check inside. I love when the uh, the, what the running boards drop down very cool feature um, inside looks pretty good it needs to be cleaned up um, but other than that other than the detail I don't see I mean there's a little bit of wearage on the steering wheel you can see it right there um, but anyway we'll check to see what a dealer's going to pay for this thing all right 27 one 27 two it's rolling out we're still bidding on it there it goes 27 eight all right we're up 28 grand we're up to 28 grand 29 six 29 seven all right up to thirty thousand dollars that truck's been long gone we're still bidding on it up to thirty thousand two thirty thousand three thirty thousand four thirty thousand five all right we got high bidder at thirty thousand five thirty thousand five hundred dollars and they sold it, sold it. All right, I've been asked for some Highline stuff. So here we go. We can look at this BMW. I think it's a X5. Yeah, it's an X5. Um, it's a 2015 X5. It's got 84,000 miles on it. Um, outside looks pretty good. Uh, wheels look all right. Okay, okay. A uh, couple, oh, yeah. It's been actually hit in the back. It's weird that it's it's been hit. You can see the dent right there on the back side, but it's not too bad down here so whatever hit it was high up maybe maybe a truck or something it's 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 odd okay i'm not sure what happened there but anyway it's been it's been knocked so just keep that in mind when we get a price on it when you see it go through the auction check the inside the inside body this is raw <laughs> oh my goodness what is, look at that uh ingenuity right there oh it's two, they're both of them oh you see that these are these are wooden blocks that this seat is attached to that that can't be safe no that's not in that's not that's not in the standards for safety and protocol oh let's see oh why would they why would they do that see you look over there that's what it's supposed to look like but not this this has been raised oh my goodness why would they why would they do that that's that's insane and this is in a bmw ladies and gentlemen uh so keep that in mind when we're bidding on this well, i'm not bidding on that but when somebody bids on that there's there's their blocks holding up the seat in that bmw insane insane i just want to point this out so we saw the blocks under the seat in that bmw so that repair that repair um, is not going to show up on any damage report. You're not going to be able to see any documentation on something like that. Now, that one is extreme. It's ridiculous, right? But things happen like like repairs like that to cars all the time when some shade tree mechanic will just rig up something just to make it work or whatever. So you have to be very diligent when you're looking at cars, when you're going to buy them for yourselves. And if you don't know exactly what you're looking at, this is why this is the number one tip that I give on my channel. For those of you that are looking to buy a car, especially if it's a used car, make sure you get your mechanic to check it out before you buy it. Because if you don't know exactly what you're looking at, you can buy something like that really quickly. And if I just wouldn't happen to be looking under the seat for how dirty the car was, 
I would not have noticed that myself and I'm a car dealer I look at these things every single day so you have to be very aware that there are things that happen to these cars that should not and uh, see there's cars all around me and these things happen all the time just be very diligent when you're looking at cars to buy for yourself we can check this one out it's a rough Jeep with higher mileage but even with all of this right here I'll be able to uh, show you what a dealer's going to pay for it's still gonna be a lot of money because uh, it's a Jeep they just uh, even the used ones they still bring a lot of money on the used market now we know that the new market is getting absolutely crushed um, as far as Jeeps anything Stellantis goes but the used market is still very strong for these things this one's got 156,000 miles it's a 2009 uh, so yeah it's a two-door body style uh, tires look good I mean it's rough look at this so it's already starting to get really crusty right here you know what maybe it won't be so bad if it's since it's that bad if that makes sense at all um, I don't see any I don't see a ton of rust on the frame but that's it's weird that that's crusty that some water got into there look at this it's like rotting away right there let's we need to look at the frame again because yeah look it's all it's rotted it's it's absolutely rusted all down in there but look the frame the frame is not bad at all so might explain that to me so okay we got crust we got all this rust down here we got all this rust down here and then we got rust it's actually flaking away the actual car if i keep doing this then i'll take i'll take another like thousand dollars off because it's going to be only 90 percent of a car if i keep pulling pizza pieces of the car off oh but i, I don't understand how that happens if, can water just sit right there I, I don't i don't get it somebody somebody tell me um anyway all right here's the jeep Try start at $8,500. No bidders yet. Drop down to $8,000. All the way down to $5,000. We got bids now. Check the inside. Yeah, I would imagine if it was crusty, you would see a bunch of rust like in the door panels and stuff like that. But I don't. I don't see it so it's just it's just in that back portion that you're seeing a bunch of rust inside looks okay um oh that's that's weird that's weird i hope i hope somebody knows exactly what happened back there but you got paint bad remember that you got that that half of the car is just falling off it's back end over there anyway we'll check it, see what a dealer pays for it oh we got this coming in 5100 52 all right, we got 5,500 to 5,800. Let's roll now. Let's roll now. Let's roll now. We're at 5,800. 5,800. They put it on a phone call. Put on hold. Put on a phone call. I just want to point this one out, uh, just real quick. This is a they call it a, a Pro Master, but it's just a it's just like a little um, commercial vehicle. This one right here is probably uh, like a shuttle, or they can take these seats out and they can use them as. Uh, like de delivery little vans or whatever but i wanted to point this out because in the last few years those things have been very very hot commodities and that's being sold by a by a jeep dealership and what i want to bring up is that i've been to a jeep dealership lately and they had tons of fleet vans just like that sitting out on their uh, their dealership and i was asking a salesperson about them and he said that they just had a company that ordered 200 of them and as soon as they got there and it was time for them to pay the company backed out of the contract so that dealership is now on the hook for those 200 uh, fleet vehicles that they ordered for this uh, this fleet customer and it's just a highlight of where it looks like the economy is going I know there's polarizing thoughts let's put it lightly that way about where the economy is where it's going it's just to show you that what I'm seeing here at these auctions the economy in my opinion does not look like it's going well from what I'm seeing here and that's just another case that's a small business vehicle to a large business vehicle and those things are showing up at auction those things are getting canceled at a lot of these dealerships and that doesn't bode well for the economy and doesn't paint a picture to me that the economy is rocking and is just doing great all right so we definitely need to check this thing out it's a 2018 forerunner it's got 150,000 miles you see that circle around the number that is the mileage um, on this car this thing looks very good the trd uh, wheels on it you go right there this thing looks fantastic paint is great on it this was not off-roaded in any in any capacity at all no dents no dings no scrapes this is going to bring a ton of money
Uh, four runner time. Alright, sorry, right, twenty thousand dollars. We got bids already, twenty thousand. Alright, they're gonna roll it out. We've already got bids. Alright, let's check inside. Inside looks just like the outside does. Those seats are fantastic. Oh my goodness, this thing's gonna bring so so much money. Anyway, we'll go inside and check this out and see. Ah, sunroof too. Hey, the headliner's clean. Oh my, this is sweet. Nice car, nice car. We will see what a dealer will pay and what the ridiculous price on this car is going to bring. There he goes, rolling out. We still, we still got a bid. 21, 20,001, 20,002, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. We're up to $21,000 now. It's already out. See, it's rolled out way down there. We still got bids. 21,006, 21,007, 21,800. All right, he's got the finger pointed out. He's got the high bidder. 21,800. 21.8 and they sold it. 21.8 and they sold it. It's actually interesting to see something like this come to auction from these franchise dealers because you would think they'd be able to sell that on the lot. Now with this one, the mileage is a little higher than probably what the franchise dealer wants to actually keep on their lot. It's got 150,000 miles. But if you look down there, there's a nice blue F-150 and I think it's uh, Raptor. We'll check that in just a little bit, but uh, it's only got well, it looks like like 50 or 58,000 miles on it and it's interesting to start seeing a lot of that stuff pop up here at this auction because two years ago we would not see that any of that the nicer stuff talking about that forerunner that f-150 that looks really nice they would keep that for themselves but what we're seeing right now is that okay they're getting a lot of new vehicles in they need the room they need the room on their floor plan maybe they need that cash so what they're doing is they're sending the stuff that they would traditionally keep on their lot in the last couple of years they're going to dump it at auction they're just going to get whatever it brings here and then they're going to move on and go to the next one even though even though that stuff's really nice and they could retail it and make a lot more money on their lot on their uh on their lot yeah there we go so here we go we got another so a super duty uh truck it's got a flatbed on it for work and then we've got another one of those uh, like uh, big delivery vans or whatever and i want to relate this back to right back in 2020 when things started getting really bad what i noticed is a lot of these commercial vehicles were just there there's companies were dumping them uh, at auction and uh, we saw more and more and more of that happen and then it just all shut off because then we know money was being thrown into the system we got uh, we got companies that were trying to buy these vehicles because you just couldn't get them and now i think we can use this as a gauge if the economy is getting worse not saying that it is but if it is getting worse then I think what we'll be able to see here at these auctions is that we'll see more of these commercial vehicles. There will be more businesses trying to liquidate these ty types of vehicles. You'll see more dealerships trying to liquidate them because they're not being sold to a lot of these small businesses that maybe were expanding in the last couple of years, but now they're contracting. And when I say contracting, they're either going out of business or they're downsizing, they're trying to save money, and or they're trying to raise money to pay off debt. And a good way to do that is by selling off assets. And in those companies' case, it would be that the assets could be a lot of these fleet vehicles that they have that maybe because they're downsizing, they're uh, letting, uh, letting go of some employees. They have vehicles just sitting, and that's an easy way to raise some cash. It's by dumping a lot of these vehicles. All right, we'll check this thing out. It's a 2021 Toyota Tacoma. It's got 49,000 miles on it. Uh, front of it looks good. Got some guys hanging out in the back. I'm not going to mess with them. Uh, but it's an SR5. We we'll check that out right there. Uh, front tires. Uh, they probably will need to be replaced pretty soon. All right, almost missed it. Here's the Tacoma. All right, trying to get 31000 Drop down $30,000. Still trying to get thirty grand. No bidders, no bidders so far. They won't roll it out until they get numbers. Drop down $25,000. We got bidders now. All right, inside, inside. Let's check this out. Inside looks very good um, we got a little bit of stainage happening on those seats um, actually you know what quite a bit of stainage back there um, other than that just a clean up screen looks good all this looks good anyway well uh, this should still bring tons and tons and tons of money but we'll check it out see what dealers going to pay for this Tacoma 26,000. Up to 
$28,000 for it. They need, the seller said that he's $29,500 for it. They're going back to the bidder and asking what they can do. He's probably going to go up there and tell them where to put that $29,500. <laughs> All right, the bidder came up to $28,500 and they sold it. Good buyer, good seller. That's what I'm talking about. Ford Taurus. I hope Alex has been on it. Looks like he is. You see him over there? All right, up to $1,100. It's got 183,000 miles. You see Alex's subtle head move is all too much. Yeah, he didn't want to go up that much on it. It went to $1,800. He did good. It's probably only a $2,500 car. $3,000 is perfect. Went to Ford Taurus. Can't be perfect. So here's the thing, I was going to watch that BMW that was going to come through with the woodblock uh, booster seat, uh, but uh, I've already got all of my cars finished and there's this still this whole line of cars right here that still got to come through and the BMW is not even in line and I'm hot and I'm tired, I'm not doing it today. So. Please subscribe for my laziness. <laughs> no, no, no. I've been out here. I got you a lot of cars. Got you some bonus cars and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, they, they agree. So, uh, yeah. So, subscribe and uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this video. But I'm out.